Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Sandy G. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a one pot meal, chicken and rice. Now, before I get started, I wanted everyone to know that the reason why I'm making these videos, and I'm really, really new at this, and I'm being very, very vulnerable right now because I'm sharing my life with a lot of strangers. I am legally blind, and a lot of people have asked me, how is it that I maneuver my way around the kitchen? How do I get around by myself? Well, it's very, very difficult, needless to say. However, cooking is something that I just love, love, love. And you just have to make some minor adjustments, look a little close, be careful. Yes, I get cut, I get burned all the time, but I just love it. And I love the way people look when they're eating my food and they enjoy it so much. So that gives me in itself a lot of satisfaction. So without further ado, I have some chicken breasts here that I'm going to cut up and I'm going to saute the chicken in a pan for a few minutes just to get the pink out. And then I'll show you the rest. Be right back. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting this chicken breast in little cubes. Don't get nervous. My husband gets nervous every time I'm cutting something up. But you know what? It comes with the territory. I get cut, I get burned. But I do a lot of things by feel. So that's what works for me. So I'm just making two big chicken breasts, cutting them up in cubes. I am going to saute this chicken in a little bit of oil. Okay, so I took the chicken and put it in this pan with a little bit of oil, about two tablespoons of olive oil. and. Um, just gonna cook it enough so that way it's no longer pink. And then I'm gonna remove it from the pan. I also make these videos because I want my children to be able to cook without calling mom. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start with sofrito. Sofrito is green peppers, red peppers, onions, garlic, cilantro, and recao leaves, all blended up into a food processor, and we save it. I've got a ton of them in the freezer. Um, hopefully sometime soon I will be able to put a video on how to make sofrito because this is, the, this is a Puerto Rican's base for almost everything. So I'm gonna put two spoons of sofrito in the pan. I'm going to pour half, a quarter of the can of tomato sauce. Sasson. This one has, is the orange one. It has achote in it to make the rice yellow. Okay. Pepper. About 
teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin, to put a spoonful of olives with the juice. I'm going to put in some red pimentos. With the juice. And then I am going to add my salt. I always add my salt last because sesame has salt in it. I put about Half a teaspoon of salt, and that is perfect. Now I need, I'm going to put my two cacao leaves in here. This is what it looks like. Yes, they sell it at ShopRite. I saw it at ShopRite and Nutley and ShopRite in Belleville. It's in the produce section. It's usually by the pumpkin. This would be easier if I cut it, but oh well. This tastes like cilantro, only it has a stronger flavor. I actually prefer the recaito leaves a lot better than the cilantro because it's stronger. And then I'm going to add my chicken back into the pot. All right. So I'm just going to mix this up and I'm going to put my water in. Now I make two cups of rice. And I know that in my rice video, it says one cup of rice per one cup of water. We're going to minimize the water here because the chicken releases its own liquid. So we're just going to do about a cup and a half of water for two cups of rice. One. And I eyeball everything so I know more or less how much is a half a cup and I know more or less how much of the seasonings to put in. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this come to a boil and I'll be right back. I'm gonna cover it. Just leave a little space for venting and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to wash the rice because we gotta get all that starch out of it, or most of it anyway. I'm just going to just move it around until all the water gets white. And Okay, now water is clear. Try not to lose your rice. Okay. So our water is boiling. It has our chicken and our spices. And now I'm going to add the rice. Be right back. Okay, so I have my rice here. It's two cups of rice. And I'm just going to add it into a pot. Okay, 
So, I always say, when you make your rice, your spoon should just sit up top. If it falls in, it's got too much water. If it stays like this, it doesn't have enough water. We can also do this little trick here. Ah, nope, that one didn't work. Stands up. It's good. If it falls in really fast, <laughs> it has too much water. If it stays really stiff, it's got doesn't have enough water. Oh. Okay. So we're going to put the cover on this. We're going to leave it open just a little and we're going to come back in about 10-15 minutes until the water has evaporated. Okay so as you can see most of the water is gone. There's just a little bubbles on the top. So what we're gonna do is we are going to lower our flame to simmer and we're going to go around the pot and bring what's on the edge to the middle. Okay, so we're going to go around the edge and bring it to the middle. And if you have a hard time going around, just take, just push it into, just take the edges and push it to the middle. Then we're going to cover it. It's on the simmer, and we're going to put the timer on for 20 minutes. And I will be back. Okay, so our 20 minutes is up. And here is our pot of chicken and rice. And I have made some red beans. And this is what our chicken and rice with red beans and sauce on the side. So if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button the like button and feel free to post any comments and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you'll get notified each and every time that I upload a video. Buen provecho!